Welcome to another video with Mr. Long and we are looking at spreadsheets with Microsoft Excel and we are looking at the autofill feature, a very useful feature to save you time when you're trying to autofill a lot of the information in your spreadsheet table. So the best way to understand autofill is to just try with a couple of examples or scenarios. Let's say you're in a situation, you go, you know what, I need to actually take this number and I need to go and a one and a two and a three and a four. And we want to keep going like that. Now that can be really easy if you only got like four or five or six numbers. But if you've got like a hundred, this is going to take me forever. Some people will then start going things like this where we put in a formula where we say equals to the previous number plus one. And we'll try to do something like that. And then that way we can copy that formula down. So that could also work, but that doesn't work in all cases. So I'm going to show you this lovely feature called the autofill feature. So we can actually take a number. So when we click on a block and we move our mouse to the bottom right hand corner until you see at the moment the cursor is a white X. When it becomes a black X without arrows, when it's the black X with arrows, that means we're going to move it. But if I make it to the bottom right hand corner, you see it's changed to that black X. That's where we want to access the autofill options. So when I drag that down, you'll notice that it replicates that one numerous times, which might be something that you want to do. But if you go right to the bottom here, you actually have the autofill features where you can copy the series and it will then populate it in a sequence. There it tries to recognize recognize what the date is and if there's a sequence to it in this case the numbering system so we can do that if we didn't like that then we can go to just copy cells which just copies the data it would have done this automatically if we had said one two and then we click on it and then we drag it down it will then try to recognize hey this is actually a sequence of numbers but maybe you've got a situation where you've got like one two three four and then you've got one two three four again now if that's the case then you just select the first four numbers and you copy it down and now it's trying to recognize that it's numbers but if we come here and we say no we just want to copy the cells it will then follow that sequence of one two three four one two three four one two three four now, if I change the formatting of a number, let's say we make it blue with a yellow background. If I do that and I drag it down now, it's copying the number and it's copying the formatting. Now, when I come here to the autofill features, I can just fill the series. So it keeps the formatting, but just changes the numbers. Or I can say, you know, I want to copy it, but I just want the fill without changing the formatting. So just keep it as ones, but I don't want to copy that type of formatting where it doesn't actually copy what the cell looks like. I'm going to just redo this part again. So there's how we work with numbers. Now, it does it automatically if it recognizes a sequence, for example, with Monday. It will know that the next day is a Tuesday and then a Wednesday. So you can actually drag that down and it'll actually do the rest of the days. Now, if I come here to the autofill options, it actually gives me more options. If we just want to fill the days or if we just want weekdays, if we just want weekdays, then it'll skip Saturday and Sunday. So then it'll go up until Friday and then move to Monday and then Tuesday. So you do have those options as well. And if we just want Monday every single time, we just copy the cell and it'll just copy Monday all the time. But I like that we have gone with the Monday to Sunday. Now, if you've got text where there's numbers in the text, you can actually scroll down and it will change that number to the next number in the sequence as well. If you don't want that, then you can obviously just copy the cells if that's the case. But that is available if you want to make sure that the numbers are replicated. And normally, if there are two numbers in a cell, it will create a sequence using the last number. So if I drag that down, you'll notice the ones are the same, but the A2, the two that is going through a sequence. Now, when it comes to dates, that's even more powerful. We can actually scroll down and it will do the next day going in day sequence if we want. If we just want to copy those days, we can say, no, just keep the days the same. Or we can move down here to these. We can make it just to fill the days, which is what we wanted. Or we can just do weekdays, which means it'll skip. So between the second and the fifth, it's obviously a Saturday and a Sunday. And it'll skip the weekend days. We can just do the months if we want. So we always want the first, but we want the second month, the third month, the fourth month. We can fill the year. So it'll be always on that date. But the years will be changing but I'm going to keep it to just days for now so that's really great for dates now a really cool feature as well is the flash fill so what happens is if you got for example a pattern with text so let's say these are my names and I really want to have a text where I put the name Timlin and then I'm going to put a comma and then I'm going to put the first initial of the name so that's the format that I want and actually I'm not I'm actually going to put this all in capital letters I want to make it even more completely different to what it looks like in these two cells. So I want that in capital and I want 
just the first letter of that. Now, if I drag that down, you'll notice it just replicates that text multiple times. But if I come here to the flash fill, it'll try to predict what the pattern is in this text so that it'll try to replicate. So let's see if it can do it properly here. So there we go. It was correctly making this cell capital and it was correctly getting the first letter of the name. So there you can see it automatically did it. And this is without even doing any formulas. And this autofill works both vertically as well as horizontally. So over here, I've got the month name like March. If I drag that across now instead of down, you'll notice it still recognizes that it's a month and moves across for the different months. So whether you go in up or down or vertically or left or right or horizontally, it'll still do the copying that way. So there we go. The autofill feature, really useful one that you can use. So when you drag in, remember to move your mouse to the bottom right hand corner, what you're going to drag down. When you drag it down, see what you like, if the information is what you want. If not, then go to these options over here and then you can change what the settings are. If you just want the formatting or if you want to just copy the cells or if you want to do a flash fill or other options. So there we go. That is the autofill feature. Please support the channel by clicking on the subscribe button and sharing us with your friends so we can help them as well. Click on the playlist if you want to find other videos about other topics and check out our videos on spreadsheets to get more information there. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long Way.